morning, everyone, or good day, or good night. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Today is Tuesday, and we got back from our travels Saturday, and then Sunday, Monday, yesterday, Monday. Um, didn't do a whole lot around the house, but I did sit down and work on some crochet projects. Look forward to sharing that with you today and talk a little bit about the difference between the yarn and the crochet hook with the same pattern and getting several different results. So welcome. I'm glad you stopped by for a little bit, spend a little bit of time with me. Hopefully I won't keep you too, too very long, but my name is Marsha with Mimi Makes Keepsakes. And once again, thank you for stopping by. So in my previous videos, kind of catch up for the ones I haven't seen my previous videos. Um, I'm still somewhat of a newbie and um, I appreciate everyone that has liked, subscribed and left me the sweetest comments and the ones that have shared my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. But talking about the previous videos, I took some crochet projects while we were on travel and I spoke a little bit on how that turned out with my high expectations of all that I could get done while I on travel because I was going to have a few days to myself. But talking about one of the main patterns that I did was this sweet little chicken with cotton yarn. And I talked a little bit about that in the pattern. This was with the cotton yarn, yarn inspirations, peaches and cream. But yesterday I'm like, what would that pattern look like if I did it in a blanket yarn or the Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn. So here's one that I did. <laughs> it's got little, little feathers on the back. So this one I did with the Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I thought it turned out adorable. So this is the cotton yarn that I used with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I said, let me try the Burnett Blanket Yarn by Yarnspirations. And this is what it turned out. How he turned out, or she, isn't it adorable? Look at his little face, little feathers. And his little tail feathers. So this was a pattern that I had in my folder for a while now. And then while I was on travel, someone suggested doing a chicken project as part of the travel, as a travel project. And I got, let me see if I can hold it up. Got thumbing through my patterns and realized I already had one. This was a free pattern and you can get it. I looked on Pinterest and I was able to find it. I'll leave the details below. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm having difficulties. Okay, ta-da, the different sizes. Aren't they adorable? Look how cute. So this was the Burnett blanket yarn. I used a 6.0 6 millimeter crochet hook for this one. So we have the little bitty cotton. We have the middle size. And this was stuffed with, it wasn't stuffed with polyfill. It was stuffed with um, a softer stuffing. So it's more of a squishy type texture. It's really, really soft. I'll leave the description for that. I believe I got off of Amazon. It's a really, really soft, squishy feel. And of course, this cute little chicken. So like I said yesterday, I really didn't do a whole lot, but I did work on these two and kind of chilled. And I watched, um, binged watch this sweet, sweet lady, so adorable. She makes the cutest on YouTube. Let me pull her up right quick. So you know how when you watch YouTube videos and it snowballs to the next video, to someone else's video? Oh, let me look at that book. Oh, let me get that project. I was just pinging all over the place yesterday with so many ideas, so many things that I wanted to do. I apologize for not having this pulled up. So when I first started doing Ami Groomy about a year ago, Elise from Le Petite Saint Crochet, I watched, I think, every one of her videos. And then the people that she would mention, I would follow them. 
um, the books that she recommended. I would like put them in my wish list. And then I came across Jeanette with Crafty Clegg. <laughs> Y'all need to check her out. She is adorable. She's hilarious. But she's always fun to watch. And then she showed, was it this week? She showed the cutest little, um, she's doing Christmas in July and she made the cutest little gingerbread man. And then she did like, um, Mrs. Claus and then Buddy the Elf. Well, it's not Buddy the Elf. It's an elf, but it's Butt. She named him Buddy. It's so adorable. But she said, she said that, hold on, let me look. Let me see. She said that one of the designers, Lee Mac, made me do it. So I had to go say, well, who is Lee Mac? If you haven't watched Lee Mac's YouTube videos, she is adorable. She is such a great artist. Um, she has so many great projects that she does and shows you just, just beautiful work that she does. Um, some beautiful blankets, some Ami Gurumi. So I got down the rabbit hole of binge watching Lee Mac. And then the sweetest lady gave me a shout out on shared my channel. And I binge watch her yesterday. It's craftably ever after. You need to check her videos out. I binge watch her yesterday too. She's just adorable. Has the sweetest crochet projects and she's just very talented, talented young lady. Um, so I've got some book ideas from them both that I put on my Amazon list for Christmas. I may not be able to wait till Christmas. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, that's the way my day went yesterday. So pretty much doing some crochet projects. This cute little chicken. Um, and this cute little chicken. I also did, um, last night after we got settled down, I worked some more on my alligator or crocodile for Animal Friends of Pika Pal. I'm doing it in Broco Vintage Yarn 3, 3.0, 3.0 millimeter crochet hook. Um, Broco Vintage has like a halo to it, like a little fuzz. Um, but I think it's going to turn out okay. But I'm not going to do them exactly like the pattern. The pattern has like the stripes for his shirt. I'm going to do a little bit different. So keeping my fingers crossed, it will still look adorable. But I like the way it's looking. He's turning out really, really cute. But I think that was it I wanted to share with you this morning. Um, today I'm hoping to go by Goodwill, see if they have any yarn. I know the ones that watched my video with Nana, she was made with a mixture of yarn, some from Goodwill, some that were ordered. Um, I do like to mix, mix and match sometimes, but other than that, I may try to ride out and see some family today, but hopefully I can get some more crochet done and have more to show you. But I appreciate you stopping by for a little bit. Hear me ramble. I look forward to your comments, suggestions. Oh, I was watching a video this morning and I will leave her link below. She makes adorable. She was showing, um, adorable little animals. She was showing on her video things, patterns she got for free from Instagram and she actually made them up. But she asked the question, do you yarn under or do you yarn over? And I thought, hmm. I yarn over, but when I do a decrease, I yarn under, then over. So it's something to think about. I know your mind, you start thinking, well, I'm going to yarn under after you yarn over for so long. Then you think, oh, I get confused. So, so I do yarn over, but on decreases, I yarn under, and then I yarn over. But that's a good question. I know it goes back and forth and within the... I mean, groomy community, some yarn under, some yarn over, but I think just do what's best for you, for your hands. Um, and I know when I was learning Ami, Ami Gurumi, I practiced with so many different yarns, hooks, trying to find that hook that I like, the yarn that I like. 
But like I said, when I first started, I watched um, Elise from Le Petit Saint Crochet and she shared what worked for her. And that was my starting point. I started with that and then started experimenting with different hooks and different yarns. But making these, I did notice that making this um, chicken with the Premier Parfait yarn, I was able to zoom through really, really quick. I had a one of the Clover Brand hooks. That's one of my favorite. Clover Brand hooks just glided through this Parfait chunky yarn. It was easy to whip it up pretty quick. Unlike the cotton yarn that I told you, it was very, very hard working through that yarn. Even though I had a clover hook, it was really hard. But I'm not ready to give up on cotton yarn just yet, as I shared in my previous video. Okay, friends, well, thank you for stopping by. And I really hope you have the best day. Um, and I know sometimes the days can't be the best day, but we can have try to have the best attitude about the day. All right, everyone, hopefully I can get some videos to show you later. Enjoy your day. Bye, friends. Hey, everyone. How's everybody doing this afternoon? I hope everyone's doing well. I um, just wanted to close out this video. Um, I do not have any new projects to show you that I've done today, but I have worked on several projects. I go back to work tomorrow. Vacation's over, but I'm thankful to have a job. But I just won't have time to get on and do videos every day and do work on craft projects every day like I would like. But hopefully I'll have some completed projects to share with you by the weekend. But today I did work on some projects. I did go by our local Dollar Tree. Uh, they did not have the Premier yarn that I was hoping they would have. I went by there several times and they, I guess they're no longer carrying it. I know, it's so sad. But you can see the baskets behind me. I really don't need any more, but I always like to check and see what colors they may have. I know that Dollar Tree, the next town over, they usually have a pretty good selection. I usually like to run through there and pick out some colors I may not have or restock some colors that I, I'm i running low on. So I mean, it's $1.25 and you know, it works for me. I think it works up great. Also, but they did also, our Dollar Tree did have a good selection of other craft prod, craft supplies. Um, I did see the craft sticks or what we used to call popsicle sticks. Um, and I was watching Craftably Ever After. I was watching her video. Need to check it out. She's just, she's just adorable. Um, but she was making furniture for her Ami Groomy dolls and animals out of popsicle sticks. How crafty is that? So I may run by there and pick some up and see if I can Google a pattern or YouTube on how to make furniture out of popsicle sticks. She did a little chair and table and it was just adorable. You gotta go check her out. She's just so handy and crafty. Um, you will love it. Also, I did get to go by the Goodwill. Did I tell you that? I went by Goodwill, our local thrift store and they had one ball of yarn and a knitting kit, but not something that I really need. I'll plug in, I did some videos, I'll plug those in if they look okay. But other than that, well, I'm not cooking supper, so I don't have to worry about burning while I'm, burning the food while I'm speaking with you, but I won't keep you on here too long. I appreciate you stopping by, watching the video. Thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed and sent me the sweet messages. I, I really believe, I honestly believe the yarn community is some of the sweetest people out there. It's just a great community. And I enjoy hearing your feedback, sharing, all that good stuff. All right, everyone. And you can see the sun shining this afternoon. It's a beautiful day. I would flip you around, let you see the windows are dirty. Anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope everyone has a good afternoon and a good night. Bye.